Welcome back. I've got a very simple question for you this time round. I've got a very easy one for you, and it simply goes like this. What the hell is this? And am I being personally targeted by Games Workshop by whatever the hell this is? I mean, look at it. What is this model? Absolutely ridiculous. In the best way, obviously. Saying it's ridiculous is more of a compliment than an insult, because... I mean, oh, where do you even start with this... Annihilation-esque, also quite Geigerd feeling, absolute catastrophe of a thing, a living creature, a Tyranid Malstrain sort of boy. Boy, this is horrible. Like, really horrible. I feel like Games Workshop is good at horrible, right? They can do some really horrible miniatures. Things that you look at and go, there's a good amount of body horror going on there. There's quite a lot of, like, sort of... It's a bit twisted, it's a bit weird, it's a bit creepy. They're quite good at that. But then every now and again, they'll just throw something out there. Just casually, like, they'll just be like, here you go. Here you go. Just have something that is nightmare made plastic or resin this might be resin it's necromunda and it's one character so i have a suspicion it might end up being resin either way what on earth who whose idea was this whose idea was it i feel like some parts of this need to be censored for a start but i don't know why or which bits <laughs> which is i mean that's that feels like that feels like something new it's not often i look at a model and go that is definitely explicit, but I couldn't really tell you why, only that it is. And I don't mean explicit as in it looks a bit gross. I mean, like, it looks like something that's going to get flagged by YouTube. If this video doesn't get age-restricted or, like, ad-limited by the appearance of this thing in the video, I'll be frankly amazed, because it really looks like it should. It really looks like it should. Okay, before we really break it down, I should probably tell you exactly what this thing is. So this is the Malstrain Coalescence which is a hardcore name. That's a 10 out of 10 name. Absolutely fantastic. And they've said it's the most grotesque thing on Necromunda yet. And right now, I am inclined to agree. I mean, I'm inclined to agree. I mean, before, they do mention, actually, Autrum 88, which was the guy that's, like, floating with cybernetics who kind of looks like a fleshy potato. That guy. This is way worse than him. This is way worse than him. So... It's a chimera of man and gene stealer mutated by the weird energies polluting the devastated Hive Secundus. And while I was hoping for more weird, given that the Malstrain is quite a weird thing to begin with, and it's made the Tyranid that it's sort of messed with even more freaky than Tyranids normally are, which, I mean, to be fair, most Tyranids are not as freaky, but the, the Malstrain one's definitely... This, there's definitely some hardcore cool mutation going on there. This is just another level of what the hell. Like, what did this start out as? Was this a person that was infected by a gene stealer? And then as as things sort of progressed, it just sort of exploded out into other tyranny bits? Is that what it is? We've got, like, weird growths and tentacles coming out the back. It's kind of hard to tell whether they are, like, sort of, like, blackened carapace, like bone... Or whether they are fleshy. That's yeah, I mean it's tricky. The carapace that's on the top of it, I love how it almost looks like a normal tyranny carapace, but it's just so much more spiky and sort of random. Like it's it follows the same rough shape, but it's really all over the shop. I really like that. The head is being like cradled by some sort of growth. Again, again, is it a tentacle? Is it bone? Is it is it both of those things? Because there's like more carapace growing up next to it. Oh my god, this is awful! Like seriously, hats off, ten out of ten. Whoever made this, whoever you are, this is genius, and I absolutely love it. This is fantastic. This is, I mean, it's a new favorite. I feel like it shouldn't be because what the hell is wrong with you? But also, my god, yes. Because we've still got bits like there's a there's a sort of human ish but kind of getting to gene stealer arm, but it's also is it like grown through with a tentacle? Or is the tentacle like grown out of it, but for some reason it's it stayed whole? I don't know. The way that they've painted that like bruised fleshy sack the hanging down by the leg is horrendous that feels like that feels like something i should be blurring and i don't know why but it really does feel like something i should be blurring also what is that thing what is that thing that people have where they don't like is it like tripped trip to trip to phobia or something where it's like lots of little holes or lots of little like things dotted in in stuff because the extra 
is it extra brain bits? Are they eyes? Are they just like pustules of gross? Are they egg sacs? Are they egg sacs? Is that even how tyranids work? I can't remember. I don't know that much about the tyranid biological function. Are those... We're just going to move on. How is it moving? Is it floating? Does it crawl along on that weird, spiky, really thick tentacle coming down the bottom? It's got, it's got like, growths coming out of it. I, I mean, there's just so many questions. I have a million questions about the makeup of this freak, and I don't think any of them are ever going to be answered, and that's totally fine. But I like that it makes me ask those questions, you know? I like that it makes me ask them. It also really looks like that big old tentacle coming out of the human head's mouth has grown just through it. It doesn't look like it's coming out of the mouth because it's grown out of the mouth. It looks like it's grown through the top of the head and then protruded out of the mouth. Which makes absolutely no sense. In a good way. It's just horrifying. It's just all around horrifying. This is some proper, like eldritch horror like some proper cosmic horror something unknowable and disgusting and awful has happened to this and i like it for that did you see mild tangent did you see collectively the color out of space the one that's got nicholas cage in it you know when the mum and the kid like fuse together back to back spoiler alert how old even is that film how old is that film you know what i'm saying spoiler alert uh, Colour Out of Space, 2019. If you haven't seen it by now, that's not my fault. Besides, it's it's literally a Lovecraft interpretation, like, whatever. There's a bit, right, where two characters get fused together. I think it also happens to, like, the alpacas or something in the shed. They all, shed, barn, whatever you store alpacas in. They all get, like, fused into a big horrible mass, and it's, like, all stretched skin and, like, limbs, like, sticking out in horrible angles and all that stuff. This, this is, I'm getting the same thing out of this. I'm getting the same thing out of this, which is no bad thing, because that stuff was horrifying, and I loved it. Anyway, flying psychic champion. Okay, so it flies. It doesn't just wiggle along on the big tentacle. That makes more sense. <laughs> Available for Malstrain gangs and Malstrain corrupted gangs. It's slow, but has access to its own unique weird power. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure it does have access to its own unique weird powers. Look at it. You'll be able to use it in Underhell's campaigns using rules from the next supplement book for Necromunda. I think that's the, uh, is that the 98th supplemental book for Necromunda? Um, that's hyperbole. I don't think it's quite 98 yet. It doesn't feel like it's far off, but I don't think it is. You can even make it your leader. You can make it your li Who wants to be led by that? <laughs> Who's queuing up and going, you know what, I'll sign on for this. <laughs> Looks great, let's go. No, absolutely not. Oh my god, no. Also, look down here. This is just one of the Malstrain terrors coming to Hive Secunda. Stay tuned for more. There's going to be... They're doing, they're doing more. They're doing more. Are they all going to be like that? I really hope they're all like that. <laughs> It'd be great. Maybe not... Well, no. Not exactly like that. I mean, if they're all like that, then it would get a bit boring. But this gives me hope that there's going to be some absolutely nightmare fuel-esque horrors on the way that maybe even are worse than this. We'll see. It's something to look forward to, isn't it? You never know. You never know. Anyway, let me know what you think of that in the Comment down below the Malstrain Coalescence, which is an absolutely great name. I still love that name. Horrible, awful, disgusting, 10 out of 10, would uh, gaze upon in shock horror again. <laughs>